Welcome to the Weekday Report for Thursday, December 19th. I'm Joe Potente. Here's a brief look at the news. A federal judge has overturned Mark D. Jensen's conviction for killing his wife, Julie Jensen, in 1998 and ordered that he be released from prison within 90 days. Jensen appealed his 2008 Kenosha conviction for homicide, saying the state's use of his dead wife's words violated his constitutional right to confront witnesses testifying against him. The federal judge agreed in an opinion released Wednesday, ordering his release from prison where he was serving a life sentence. The state can still decide whether to retry the case. Read more today at KenoshaNews.com and in Friday's Kenosha News. Those looking to enroll for coverage under the Affordable Care Act beginning January 1st now have only until Monday to sign up. While open enrollment continues through March 31st, applications must be completed by Monday to ensure coverage starting January 1st. Licensed navigators such as Robin Remmel at United Hospital System are still taking appointments and accepting walk-ins to guide them through the application process. The Outreach Center at United's downtown campus will be open until 8 p.m. today and from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Friday. A busy Kenosha intersection is back to normal. The traffic signals at 39th Avenue, 75th Street, and Roosevelt Road were again functioning normally Wednesday evening after a couple of days of interruptions that caused backups in all directions. Mayor Keith Bosman said the signal box had to be replaced because it had been damaged in traffic accidents. Christmas came early at a Kenosha school this morning. Deneen Smith has the story. Santa made a pre-Christmas stop at Frank Elementary School in Kenosha Thursday, taking time to hand out gifts and encouragement to students. Every year, Santa stops by Frank to meet with the 460 kids in kindergarten through fifth grade. He gets help from his alter ego, Sergeant Robert Croker, from the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department and from local businesses, schools, and organizations that donate gifts. Teachers wrap the gifts and make sure each child gets one chosen just for him or her. Santa told kids he's busy this time of year, but always makes time to stop at Frank because he kids, thinks the kids there are so special. Principal Heather Conley said 95% of the kids at Frank qualify for free and reduced lunch. For some of the kids, she said the gift they receive at school will be the only one they receive this Christmas. This is Deneen Smith reporting for the Kenosha News. 95 children and parents enjoyed a holiday party at Monkey Joe's on Wednesday evening. The annual event is sponsored by Kenosha Firefighters Care and Kenosha Area Family and Aging Services. The families involved have been taking part in the county agency's services that teach life skills and parenting strategies. Wednesday's celebration included games, raffles, and a pizza party delivered by the firefighters. What's trending today? After receiving a $17 million cash development grant from the city of Kenosha earlier this fall, Amazon.com is now looking for another $5 million to build an additional warehouse that's expected to employ another 575 people. Is spending city money to create these jobs a good swap? Tell us what you think on our Facebook page. Up next are Brian Sharkey and Liz Snyder with some Get Out Entertainment ideas. Hi, I'm Brian Sharkey. And I'm Liz Snyder with your entertainment news. This week, the Get Out section offers our annual tour of local holiday lights. We share suggestions from Kenosha News readers on where to find the biggest and brightest displays. This might even inspire you, Brian, to finally get that plastic Rudolph back on your roof where he belongs. That's right. <laughs> Along with the lights, this is the season for holiday concerts. Saturday night, the Kenosha Pops Concert Band performs its Christmas concert inside Carthage College's beautiful Seabird Chapel. And on Sunday evening, everyone is invited to take part in the single along Messiah at First United Methodist Church. And if you don't want to sing, you can just come and listen to the performance directed by Greg Berg. Admission to both those concerts is free. And nobody wants to hear me sing. <laughs> there are several movies opening this weekend, including the comedies Anchorman 2 and Amadea Christmas. And kids might enjoy Walking with Dinosaurs. Other new films include the 1970s satire American Hustle and Saving Mr. Banks. That film stars Tom Hanks as Walt Disney as he works to film the story Mary Poppins. For all these stories and more, see Friday's Get Out Entertainment section. I'm Liz Snyder. I'm Brian Sharkey. Happy, Happy Holidays! holidays. Thanks, Brian and Liz. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. Congressman Paul Ryan is scheduled to meet with the Kenosha News Editorial Board this afternoon. Deneen Smith will report on what he has to say. And the man arrested after a lengthy police standoff on 57th Street earlier this month is expected to make his initial appearance in court today. Janine Anderson will be there. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Joe Potente with the Weekday Report.